So a lot of Netflix employees was like, they're going to quit because of the offensive stuff that Dave Chappelle talked about. And they said, if you find it hard to support our content, Netflix might not be the best place for you. And it's all over the controversy of The Closer. And then Netflix said, as employees, we support the principle that Netflix offer a diversity of stories, even if some titles counter to our personal values. Depending on your role, you may need to work on titles you perceive to be harmful. If you find it hard to support our content, then get the hell out. That's basically what they said. Because some people regard the comedy special as transphobic. And after the show premiered, some Netflix staff members performed a walkout expressing their disapproval of Chappelle's comments. However, this did not change the Netflix CEO, Ted Sarandos' man, who kept the show on air. The memo continued, Not everyone would like or agree with everything on our service. While every title is different, we approach them based on the same set of principles. We support artistic expression of the of the creators we choose to work with. We program for a diversity of audience and taste, and we let the viewers decide what's appropriate for them versus having Netflix censor specific artists or voices. We model ourselves on being a professional sports team, not a family. Family is about un unconditional love. A dream team is about pushing yourself to the best possible teammate, caring intently intensely about your team and knowing that you may not be in the team forever he said damn you hear that netflix you ain't no family because <laughs> they straight up said yo we like a professional sports team we not a family a family is about unconditional love we don't love your ass like if you don't like what Chappelle is saying the door <laughs> just like martin said you can get to stepping like it's crazy how many sensitive people in this world bro every time i get on twitter it's like somebody talking about a particular topic and they got a whole bunch of retweets and quotes and all that stuff. And there's people in the comment section like, oh my gosh, this and that. Like I learned over the years that people will literally complain about anything. People are complaining if the sun's shining too much, if it's raining too much, if they got too much money, if they're going broke. People will complain about anything, bro. And it's nothing. I mean, it's nothing wrong with Chappelle's stand-ups. Ever since he made his comeback, the hot topic, besides a lot of other stuff, was transgenders. How they want rights for this. They're playing in male sports. They're playing in women's sports. They they want to get married. They want respect. They want equality. It's been so much of that. And all Chappelle doing is giving a comedic twist. The thing I always say about Chappelle's stand-up, he does not just target the LGBTQ community. The ABC, one, two, three, however you say this shit. He does not just target that one community. He talks about the president. He talk about black people. He talk about white people. He talk about ignorant people. Everything. If they want equality so bad, you got to take these equal jokes, man. What y'all think about this? Your boy, beat. Make sure like, I'm subscribed. I'm out.